This is Jeremy with Easy Coordinator, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use your document library. Your doc library is a central location in your Easy Coordinator account where you can store a bunch of documents that you might need on a variety of different transactions. It's not specific to a transaction, it's more of a central location where you can store files. In order to set it up, you're going to click on the admin tab on the top right and then we'll click the document library tab and I have two options in here I can create folders and I can upload documents into those folders so let's go ahead and create a new folder you'll see here I already have a list of folders that I've already created so we'll do seller documents and click save now that folder has been successfully saved now I want to go and I'm going to upload documents into that folder. So I'm going to click Seller Documents and let's go to my computer. We'll grab a PDF document and it's uploading and it's complete. So it's told me the file has been successfully uploaded. So once it's complete, I'm going to use uh, the doc library link at the top right. So I'm going to click that. And here's my document library. These are folders I had already set up. And then here's my new folder, which we just created, Seller Documents. And there's the document that I created in here. You can add a description to that folder, to that file name, just by clicking on this area here under Description. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to take these documents and I want to move them to a specific transaction. So for example, if I want the RMA and the RMA instructions, I'm going to check those two documents. And now you'll see a little button so that says move documents has shown up. So I'm going to click move documents. I'm going to select the transaction. I'm going to select the folder in that transaction. So let's just select miscellaneous and I'll click continue. And now it says that those files have been successfully copied. So now I'm going to go to my transaction and open the document folder. And underneath miscellaneous, there are the two documents, RMA and RMA instructions that I just moved from the document library. And you'll see a little icon here, and that indicates that they are from the document library. And you can see when you hover it over it, it says from document library. So that's how you use your document library. It's a great way to store office docs and have a central location for all your documents that you're going to need on a variety of transactions.